Crowds gathered at Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania. As they pulled Punxsutawney Phil from his burrow for Groundhog Day. The famous groundhog did not see his shadow, as you heard there. Good sign for those who want to see more sun and less cold. Not everybody wants to see winter go by, though. Phil often does see his shadow on this big day, and we bring in our chief meteorologist. And, and Jamie, I, I can't help. Every year, it seems like Punxsutawney Phil looks like he gained another five pounds. I mean, <laughs> it, I know. I'm just say this. It, it, at his proportions on a day like today, he probably would have been sweating here in Springfield. Oh, absolutely. Morning. Yeah, and I think the bigger question for me isn't really anything to do with uh, Punxsutawney Phil. It's where do you get those top hats? That's right. <laughs> That's where do you it. get them now? Where, so where do you go today <laughs> to get one of those hats? Solid question. That, you know, I don't maybe, know. Maybe uh, look like it came straight from the Monopoly board. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. Yeah. Now, now our, our very own Matt Hefner, uh, he did some investigating. He found that uh, for, for Punxsutawney Phil, his track record, it's about... It's a, it a, a little worse than a coin toss in terms of his okay. accuracy. All right. So that's not horrible. I mean, you know, a little, little worse 50 than 50. a 50-50. But then, then it also begs the question, but that's Punxsutawney Phil in Pennsylvania. Right. How does he represent the Ozarks? Uh, it, Matt took this very seriously. He did. Good research, Matt. He did. Uh, Matt, what did you find on the Ozarks? Forty-seven percent. So again, a little worse than a coin toss there. So I mean, you take it with a grain of salt. I tell you what, uh, he called it today, right? I mean, with the spring temperatures, the sunshine that we had this afternoon. If you're like me, you got that spring fever. You just wanted to be outside all day long, uh, and it was a gorgeous day across here. Sixty-nine, the official high in Springfield. Uh, the record high, seventy-six, set back not that long ago in 2020. I remember that day. Uh, this was the warmest day since November the 15th, and it's our third warmest Groundhog Day on record. Yes, there were other locations that got even higher. In fact, this, uh, these aren't the official highs, but it gives you a flavor of what happened. I mean, many spots here along I-49 hitting at least 70, 70 in Clinton, 70 in Camdenton, 70 today in Fort Leonard Wood. Here's a, 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 I can tell you, uh, we did see a record high tide in Joplin at 74. That was their official high. Everybody else falling a little bit short. Uh, conditions still mild out there, quiet, mostly clear. Things are going to be changing, though. We've got a frontal boundary draped from northwest to southeast from the KC area down into the boot heel. This is going to slowly wash out and kind of wobble off to the southwest here with time. And we are going to find some chillier air gradually working in as some rain works in also from the west. That rain right now, we can see it here across Kansas and Oklahoma. So looking at our forecast, tonight looks dry. Tomorrow morning, uh, for most areas, it will be dry. But there will be some showers, I think, to get into southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas. And I can't rule out some sprinkles here in uh, uh, Springfield as soon as noon. But the bulk of any steadier rains will hold off until mid to late afternoon. And then once we get into Saturday night, it just looks like it's going to be wet uh, throughout the night across the area. And then Sunday uh, will follow suit with just light rain or drizzle throughout the day, and it won't taper off to a complete close until the uh, evening hours Sunday night. So Sunday is going to be that day. If you had to pick between Saturday and Sunday, when do I want to try to get outside and, and do whatever sort of outdoor chores you need to get done, Saturday is the better day to do that. Rainfall totals. It's another soaker. Uh, looks like maybe over an inch now in southwest Missouri and across much of northern Arkansas. Amounts do drop off pretty quickly, though, as you head up toward Lake of the Ozarks. Lows tonight certainly don't look like wintertime. 50 tonight in Springfield. A high of 60 tomorrow. Warmer readings to the east where I think there will be drier conditions and uh, maybe a few more hints of sunshine. Winds will also be breezy out of the southeast. Overnight tomorrow night, temperatures dip back into the 40s. And then as we get into Sunday, there you have it. Doesn't look near as nice as today with readings stuck all day in the mid to upper 40s. Uh, looking ahead to next week, uh, as that storm slides by to our south, we're going to find a return to mild conditions and sunshine as we get back to work next week. Uh, Monday, still a little on the cool side after lows near freezing. It looks like highs in the 50s. I think for Tuesday, we dip into the upper 20s with a high around 60. And then Wednesday, we should shoot well into the 60s for highs with low 60s for Thursday and Friday. I think the next chance at any shower activity after the weekend will be around Thursday of next week. Guys?